What is going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, especially as Madden 2.2 is right around the corner, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now in this video, we are messing around a little bit with some Tampa Bay 5 wide. I absolutely love the 5 wide offense. I feel like 5 wide truly does make you a better passer. And so if you're looking to become a better passer, um, I've been messing around a lot with 5 wide concepts here towards the end of the Madden 21 season as we kind of work to the beginning of Madden 22. And so I'm excited to share with you a little play out of the empty bunch wide formation um, within the within the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. What's cool about this Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook is you'll take a look and you'll notice that the empty tray stack, which is a, a formation that we've actually broken down in our true fan membership, is in the here as well. And you can also have the empty bunch wide. So in the weeks to come or in the couple days to come, I'm going to be updating uh, the true fan membership with this empty bunch wide offense. So you can use empty tray stack in combination with empty bunch wide. They also have this empty tray flex which is a kind of more traditional five wide spread look. So some pretty unique little uh, plays and packages. But anyways, I wanted to give you a concept that you can use out of this empty bunch wide. Um, and it's really simple. All we're going to do, it's a really good uh, way that you can really just kind of work up and down the field. But the play drag curl, I think is probably the best play in this playbook. And we're gonna go over this against pretty much every coverage. We're gonna start with man to man. And um, really, in anything you do, you always have to start with man-to-man -man because that's kind of the place where it starts. Again, my true fan membership, if you don't know what it is, every single week I update it with what I'm doing right now, right, with the latest uh, material that I'm running. So it might be, we talked about, like I said, the five wide empty tray stack. We've also talked about the five wide receiver trips in there. We've talked about a lot of new offenses. We've shared a, f a couple defenses as well. Pretty much every single week, I give an offensive defensive update as well as I break down pro players. So if you want to get that content, it's exclusive to just my true fans. And really, it's really cheap. It's just five bucks a month and it gives you all of my uh, latest stuff. So anyways, drag curl, real simple concept here. And I really like to run this play. Um, but really, all we're going to do here is we're just going to smart route circle. And then the, the next thing here is I'm just going to take the R1 receiver and put him on a drag route. That's all I'm going to do. And you're going to see here that this R1 receiver is going to get a free release and it's going to allow him to get open against man to man. Now, if you notice in this drag curl route concept, this, this route on the left side to Godwin, um, one of the things that I like about this as well, you'll see here, if I go press man, look, two receivers on the right don't get jammed. Um, Brown doesn't get pressed and Gronkowski doesn't get pressed. So if you have hot route master, I personally really like to put Brown on a corner route because since the corner route doesn't get pressed, man coverage typically doesn't stop it as long as that receiver has good route running. Antonio Brown um, is kind of like a little bit underneath what we're looking for. We probably want to put Chris Godwin in that position, um, which you can do that in your packages or whatever, and he would get a little bit more separation. But you'll see here, Brown typically will uh, be able to just get that separation. As you see right there, just beats man to the outside. And I like the corner route a lot. Now, if you can't do the corner route, that's fine. Um, you can leave the curl. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like against man. Uh, I'm shading my man coverage down, really trying to get in the face of the offense here. But you're going to see he doesn't get pressed. And so when he turns around, as long as Brady doesn't throw the ball into the dirt, you're going to have a pretty easy uh, ability to be able to beat man-to-man. -man. Let me show you that again. So, again, only adjustment is just drag Gronkowski. Um, and then if you want to, you can smart route Mike Evans. Another thing you can do with Mike Evans if you want to get him off the jam is you can just do a little baby motion just like that. That's going to get him off the jam. And you'll see there you've got that nice little read to Brown, which is also a really good read against zone. We're going to go over that in just a minute. Now, if they run press man-to-man -man coverage, one of the things that they might do from time to time is they might roll this guy into the middle of the field to try to stop that route to Mike Evans, which we haven't even showed you yet. We'll show you that in a second. But what that's going to do is it's going to leave this stock fade route to your running back one-on-one. Um, -on -one. And if you have a fast running back, you can basically swerve catch and get over the top. Any press coverage in the game, as long as you have a, a, a fast player there, you're going to be able to. And even if you don't, I mean, that's Jamel Dean against uh, Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones, I don't think he's as fast as Dean is. Um, but anyways, I'll show it to you one more time. So again, you see here, he just gets this outside over the top release and you're just throwing the ball basically where only a receiver can get it. If they don't get it, typically it'll go out of bounds. Um, so all I'm doing is just pass leading it, you know, outside and up. 
And then the other read that we have on this play is we obviously have our double drags and then this route to Mike Evans. So uh, with this little baby motion right here, it's going to get him off the jam. And you'll see he's going to cut to the inside and typically will be wide open. Now, honestly, I will say this. Because of how the bunch formation aligns, um, you can just run it like this right here. You'll see we're going to get a natural pick. Um, see how Brown kind of runs out of the play? And then you can throw this post. Now, Mike Evans doesn't have route running, unfortunately. But in Mutt, they're going to have 90 route running. They're going to get open on that little S post. Um, occasionally, he does get bagged in uh, in regs. I will say that. But have you see there, when he gets that free, see I got a free release right there. There you see he's getting open against man. Brady just has to get in the ball. Let me show it to you one more time, and then we'll go over, we'll go over the drag route. But typically when they try to press you, especially if you use this corner route right here, you'll see that they're going to get him a free release, pass it inside, and I don't know why Mike Evans can't catch the ball, but he's wide open over the middle of the field. Let me show it to you one more time here. So I'm just going to show you inside underneath um, and just kind of give me the – you see here gets that free release. Pass lead inside. There we go. Finally caught the ball. Um, so that's the idea. What I also like about this is this is good um, for another little trick that you can do with this, depending on the width at which you want to motion him out. So if you want to get him a little bit more um, away from the user, all you got to do is just motion him all the way outside and kind of get him in like that right there. And what you're going to see is look at where he gets on the field. The user's never going to be over in that area of the field. The user's typically going to be sitting on the drags. So it really gets him away from the user. We're going to show that in zone coverage right now. So I'm going to shift over to the Mike Blitz uh, 3 Mabel coverage, most popular defense in Madden. And um, because it's probably, honestly, it is the best, probably the best coverage, base coverage in the game. Um, but you see here, this is what you're going to get. Now, what I love about this play is what it does to zone. This route to triangle does beat man-to-man, -man, but it's really special against zone. You're going to see how it just kind of sits in the zone and gets a nice separation right in that pocket. The other reason why I like that route against zone, and let's say, for example, you're getting a lot of the Mike Blitz 3 meta, especially if you're in regs. This is a really important tip. If you're in regs running this, uh, running this play, I would recommend just simply dragging Godwin. The reason why is because you're going to be using that curl on the right, and that curl is going to hold the seam flats up, and look at all that grass that you now have to be able to throw that drag against the seam flat zone. Um, so it's really going to force them to have to make some adjustments. One of the adjustments that they might make is they might turn uh, those seam flats into curl flats, and if they do that, again, that curl gets to such a unique position on the field. And so as you're running this through, if you look at this, you see the curl route, I can throw that to the right. And because that's a defensive end or a linebacker coming back in the zone, I'll often be able to complete that, okay? Now, again, if you're in mutt, uh, I want to show you the corner route, the combination of that drag uh, and that corner route specifically against the Mabel coverage that you're going to see a lot in mutt. Um, and what you're going to see here is this corner route should um, do a pretty good job of pulling the zones out and allow you to check it down right there. It's basically a smash concept without really technically having to be a smash concept. Another thing that you'll see from time to time whenever you run this offense, especially if you uh, run some of the cover three beaters out of this formation, you can get a lot of this deep half on the right side. A lot of people don't want to get bombed over the top. So when they start deep halfing uh, on that side, you'll see this corner route will come a lot more open. Just basically pass it down and away. And as you see right there, I got that corner on, on the sideline, even against Mabel coverage. Now, the next route against zone is this uh, skinny post, or not skinny post, but this S post to uh, Mike Evans. And you'll see that against zone coverage, um, when I motion, I really like the motion out against zone because it really helps with the spacing. But look at where he gets on the field, right underneath the deep blue, especially when you smart route him, he gets a little bit more shallow, and I find that that's really, really good uh, for the totality of this play. Another thing that I like about this concept is that you have this route on the left, and I, I don't know that it'll work properly in this video. Um, we might need to be, ball might need to be on the other hash mark for this to work, but if you watch this route to square, you're going to see that it's that stock fade, and um, he, the, the corner does stay with him, and as you see right there, we can throw Mike Evans late in the play. But you'll see if I flip this, take a look at where, and I'm just going to flip the defense because they would be to the bunch side as well. So let's say you get something like this, okay? Um, look at where Jones is at. You see how he's there? If I motion him to the left, 
you're going to see that he is going to come into the backfield. Um, the other thing that I can do with this is, you know, I could motion him, if I can motion him out as well, um, and then I could basically motion him back in and kind of get a little, a little glitchy with the snap. And I'm just going to, for this video, I'm just going to put Evans on the corner just to show this concept. But again, just kind of get him in like that, kind of get it kind of ghost snapped almost. And now you've got that corner fade concept, and look at that fade. Um, it does have a little bit of a step on the corner is all I'm trying to show, okay? So that's, that's it's not it's not like super great, but it is something that you might be able to get. Um, you just have to read it. So, and, and really, if you're facing a lot of zone coverage, I would recommend just putting him on a corner as well. So now you have a corner, a post, and a curl. And you really can attack the sideline. You'll see against cover three because short side corner routes are so underrated against cover three. So that's why I love having the ability to put corner routes out there. Uh, short side corner routes, I find, are one of the best concepts for consistently beating Mabel coverage because the deep third will never, ever, ever jump a corner route on the short side of the field. You'll see he'll leave him every time. So if I throw a corner route at the short side of the field, as you can see, I'm really successful at getting that route open. So that's an idea of something that you can implement into this. The other thing that I like about this concept, though, is your double drags. Again, and we talked about this before, um, if you're, you're going, it's very, very likely you're going to see See some type of seam flat adjustment so let's say that the user says okay I need to go get Mike Evans on the top on the skinny post now you've got this drag route and if you watch it here you're gonna see you can still throw that even though there's a zone in that area now if you really want to get um, really really good against Mabel coverage my recommendation is to use two curl routes because the curl routes will do a really good job at holding the zones and opening up the drag so if I take square and I just put him on a curl route what you'll see is this route to R1 is now gonna get wide open, pass lead it up, and I can get about 15 yards before I'm even touched by my opponent. So that's this this play, play concept is really fun. It's really good against man and zone. It's also really good against the blitz. Uh, I like to throw this into every video I do out of five wide just to kind of share um, some concepts that you can do against the blitz. And really simple, uh, honestly, with this play against the blitz, really one of your drags will typically be open. The other thing that I like to do is I can just simply hit a corner route. So if I get blitzed quick and, and Brady threw it a little bit too late, but if I get blitz quick, I can throw quick outs, quick corners, um, oftentimes against a defense. The other thing that I can do, let me show you this real quick, is I could take this uh, circle receiver here and at the snap of the ball, look where he gets. You see how he gets really inside? So if their user is starting, basically it's wherever their user's at and you're just gonna throw opposite. So if their user is standing over here, then my first read is gonna be, if that linebacker on the left blitzes, then I'm throwing the ball to triangle right there, real hot, real quick, smooth, okay? Um, if, they're, if they're linebacker on the right blitzes and their user's over here, okay? Now I'm looking to either throw the tight end route or I'm throwing the circle route. Typically I'll throw circle because most of the time they'll go to the tight end route with their user, which leaves circle open. Now, if you want something that attacks outside of the defense, especially in a blitzing scenario, my recommendation um, is going to be to take this square receiver right here and simply take him on a corner route and just motion him left, just like this. Just motion him out left. And then what you're gonna see here is you're gonna be able to throw that corner route real quick. Um, but also that corner route's gonna really pull the zones out of the way and allow you to have a very nice open drag route coming underneath that. So you can do something like this, motion him out, kind of get the little you know snap type thing. And then what you'll see here is now you've got your drag, okay? So you've got a lot, it's gonna really pull the zone out, which allows that little quick hot read there. Honestly, this play is average against the blitz, I would say. It's still good, but you don't really have a ton of check release against the blitz. Um, if you left the flat route on the right, you would, because uh, you could just throw the flat against the blitz. But all in all, this is okay. Um, again, because the, both, the only problem is both the routes are going where the user's at. So, you know, really, you just have to be good at using, looking at the user and saying, where does the user go? Does the user go right or left? And where's my opening? Okay, if the user blitzes me, then I'm throwing right in the middle. Um, that's also why I really, like I said, I like that corner route. Um, another little thing, another little baby trick that you can do is real simple. Just put square on an out route. You're going to see against the blitz, you can typically throw that hot. 
um, even if they have a purple zone out in that area. Okay, so there's a lot that you can do with this play against the Blitz, but that's the gist of the concept. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full uh, five wide receiver offensive guide, I have put it into my True Fan membership for you guys. So if you've not joined that, it's just five bucks a month. There's a link in the description that you can sign up and be able to join that. We're going to continue that content. You can cancel at any time, and we're going to continue content in that True Fan membership for the uh, duration of the Madden 22 season. So it's a really, it's almost like a brain vault. Um, where I kind of dump some of my most in-depth tutorials. So if you want to get that, that's what that's for. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the True Fan membership, it's available down in the description.